Hello everyone, this is a Platform SIG meeting, April 25th, uh, 2023. And today we have Mark Waite, Kevin Martins, myself and Kenneth. Welcome everyone. We have a few open action items as always. Uh, not so many subjects on ongoing and we have a few things to share with you about what's been done in the previous weeks. So it's been about one month, I guess, um, previous meeting was cancelled because of me i'm afraid uh so let's start with the open action items we still have um container images to deprecate for the blue ocean container and i don't know if many people use them still now but um mark and i went to different conferences lately and i guess mark as i got the same um feedback as you got People love Blue Ocean. I don't know if they're using the container or just the plugins, but they do love it. So we have to be careful not to just say, "Eh, hey, it's done, it's over. You have to, you know, deal with it. We have to be more um, nice with people, nicer with people about that. Well, and, and we're not deprecating Blue Ocean, the feature, right? This is, no. this is not taking away the plugins that implement it. It's only taking away an ancient an ancient container image that we don't maintain because we've replaced it years ago with instructions at install time how you can get the same functionality with a standard container so it's it's this is a really simple one in terms of persuading users they just need to use the correct container but now now the deprecation piece we had a good conversation i had a conversation in doc's office hours with alex brandis and with Chris Stern in Doc's Office Hours Asia, Asia, discussing further the idea of how to present the deprecation to users and how to how to do that. And I think I'm I'm that much closer to a pull request to Jenkins Core that will give us a way to make this deprecation visible to the users relatively simply and reuse it for other deprecations. That is good news. Uh, can't wait to see that happening. Thank you, Mark. Um, now, we had uh, an issue going on last meeting and it's still going. I think it won't be solved uh, soon, but it's none of our, well, none of our fault, I would say. Uh, somebody was requesting an Alpine R64 image and of course, we can't supply it because Timurin does not support R64 um, Alpine images. So yes, we have some workarounds. We have lots of other R64 images. I think we have Debian uh, for JDK 11 and JDK 17, for example. So why not? Um, the user said he wanted to provide some content, some help, but we haven't heard anything from him uh, yet. So we'll see. I hesitated uh, adding a comment earlier today asking uh, if he wanted to close or not, but we'll see. Next, uh, let's switch to what has been done in the previous weeks. Oh, uh, we had quite an adventure with the DigiCert code signing for MSI installer and Jarfi. Uh, Mark, you even had to get lawyers uh, involved into that. Uh, wow. Um, but in the end, you succeeded. You got uh, the right, yeah, the right certificate uh, for MSI. But I think in the meantime, uh, the community decided not to sign the jar files anymore. Am I right? No, as far as I know, we're still signing the jar files. I'll have oh, to check. Oh, really? Sorry. Good question. Uh, it's bad. a good question. Valid question. I, I, I have a, an automated check that checks that, so it's easy to check. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Don't, don't I'll oh, check oh, sorry. separately. <laughs> so uh, next time, which means Three years from now, I guess, uh, we'll do something better. Um, we'll take some more time ahead of the deadline so that we don't get in the same situation once again. And I think that's it for that subject, unless to find the uh, information mark about the jar or not. It's not that important. But 
Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll look Later. separately because my automation checks on my own install and it's checking LTS, so it wouldn't have changed oh. anyway. Okay. And today we're lucky enough to have Kenneth with us. Uh, he worked on the PPC64 LE come back into the Docker images, and we've seen some nice progress uh, since the last meeting. The Docker agent PR has been merged, congrats. Same for the Docker SSH agent. Uh, I've seen earlier today that the inbound agent tests were still failing, but I guess that's something which was expected, Kenneth? Yeah, um, I just put a note in today, actually. Um, I was under the impression that once the Docker agent was in the repository, that they were automatically going to tag it. Yep. And that hasn't happened. So you still have to manually tag it yourself locally oh. if you build it. So I, I put that in the note. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm, I, so I'm I'm not sure I'm under, I'm not sure I'm understanding. So what you're saying is, so I see Linux, ARM v7, ARM 64, and S390 on the inbound agent. Was that the one you were describing, Kenneth? No. So if you if you yeah the in the inbound agent needs to pull down a tagged version of the Docker agent. So if you look, if you click on the PR link, the one, um, yep. if you this click, one? yeah, if you click on that link, um, take a look at my note. I give some details there. Yep, yeah, right there. The one above that. Uh, oh, okay. Right there. Yeah, this note. Uh, yeah, yes, because we have another problem. Damien is working on it. <laughs> we oh, have an issue with a Windows server, but okay. Uh, no image found for architecture. So take, yeah. Now take a look at the exact tag it's trying to pull. So it's Jenkins agent, and then it's you know that 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 specific tag is what's in the um, the Docker bake file of the inbound agent. It wants that. Oh. So it's easy to fix. Somebody yeah. somebody just needs to tag those images in the official repository. So you see my my uh, output from below i i tagged it locally after so i first pulled down the two official images and then i locally tagged them so that i could build the inbound agent got it so that's an easy fix but on our side yeah and i and i wasn't sure if that was something that i needed to do in my pull request but i don't think so i think that's... yeah I, I don't think you actually have permission to do it right that's a, applying it Okay, so the what I, I'm catching up, Kenneth. Sorry. So it's what I see is we've got a or Bruno, open up, open up hub.docker.com. And I want to look at the Jenkins slash agent. Because I think that's the one that corresponds to the the repository we, we were we were just looking at. Or the, no, this is the upstream. This is the one that needs to be tagged, I believe. Oh. Ah, there it is. Good. Okay. All right. So click the plus two more. Yes. All right. So we have this one as we have latest with PPC 64 LE. Good. Yeah. Okay. So there, there's that, that bit of evidence. Then there was 3107 dot. And here's where I need to see. There it is. So yes. Okay. So look for 30. Let's see. I'm going to, well, look for JDK 17. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Okay. So JDK 17 scrolled down a little bit past the windows stuff. There, the one that says latest. Nope, nope, not latest. A little further, maybe keep going. There. Okay. JDK 17. We already see it. So on screen and bullseye. So each of those has PPC 64 LE. Good. Okay, so we've got something that, from which we can pull, 
And the next one down, I think, Kenneth, is the one you were alluding to, 3107.v66, yada, yada. Now, it's dash eight, but that's the one we would reference in the build. Is that correct, Kenneth? Did I understand? Right. Okay, so, well, okay, wait a sec. But send the, so then this <laughs> means, okay, take me back to the other page, Bruno. Um, the Kenneth's notes. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't know if that's the exact tag that the inbound is referencing, is it? Because you're using dash five, right? Yeah, that, well, that's what dash the- Dash five, GDK that's you live on, yeah. That, that's ah, what, okay, well, but so- children. Well, so then it, it may be as simple as changing this to a dash eight because dash five, I don't think ever had a PPC 64 LE, but dash eight does. Well, mm -hmm. the question is, do you want to update the Docker bake file of the inbound agent to use the newer version of the agent? And, you know, th so this is what the head revision of the Docker bake file is going to look for, for the inbound agent. Do you simply just want to update that, you know, rather than re-tag anything. Usually, I think I think the release process for this repository is that there is automation that offers pull requests to apply the new version, the new tag 3107. something something dash oh. eight to this thing. And so I'm a little surprised that it hasn't already detected that and offered an upgrade for PPC, PPC 64 LE. I think it's hard coded in the bake file for the inbound agent. Well, except look at pull request 340, top of the top top one there. Is that the one we were just looking at? Yeah, dash eight. Yeah. Okay, so so does this one scroll scroll a little further downward? I want to see what other comments there are. Oh, okay. All right. So this, I think this is what Damien was saying. Mm. This one is the one we need in order to publish inbound agents because it will automatically update. And if you show us the diffs, Bruno, I think we'll see that the PPC agent, the PPC reference in, in the build, in build X was yep. changed here. Uh, so... Alpine, no, Debian, maybe eight. Yeah, yeah. And so isn't that the one? It's not 17 slash Debian, but 11 slash Debian. <laughs> 11, where are you? I can't see it. But yes, in the Docker bake, uh, it is changed mm -hmm. for everyone. Yeah, so I think I think this is the pull request we want. And when this thing merges, then we get PPC 64 LE in inbound agent. I guess so. Oh, I see. All right. Um, so this this uh, little request got delayed. Yeah, I think. And if we read it, it says, hey, we've got a delay. We've got to diagnose what's going wrong with the Windows server. That's a key component of this build process. All right. Um, should I delete my comment or something? Oh no, like no, your comment is no, great. No, it's perfect. It's your your comment is is spot on. Your comment is ideal. We could we could do the alternative that you offered, or we can just use what Damien links to the number three forty pull request. Yeah. And and Damien, I think's preference will be let's just use three forty. Of course. Yep. So it will take maybe a, a few more hours or days before it gets solved. Right. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to point out that that's what that's the reason it was failing. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I, I had an open question. I hadn't seen an answer to this. When the agent, the Jenkins agent image, not the inbound agent, but the agent image was merged, I assume Damien must have gotten the agreement from the security team. Because Kenneth, did you hear anything that said, "Oh yeah, security says go ahead"? Um, he didn't tell me anything specific, but I understood um, that was the case. But great, um, I, I don't know if that was more around the controller image, maybe. 
and <sighs> and and that could be that's it may be that that's why the controller hasn't been merged yet uh, that yeah. that i'm not sure of yeah. okay great thank you so you from... haven't done anything oh go ahead bruno sorry go ahead my fault go ahead Okay, uh, so I heard something from Damien uh, regarding the security team and the new images, uh, which may uh, also talk about these new architectures. And I think the compromise was that we would have um, uh, a documentation that would say uh, we won't warranty anything uh, security related. We do our best and you're on your own. <laughs> I think that's uh, output, and there may be somewhere on Jenkins.io uh, GitHub repo uh, pull request that talks about uh, our security involvement. There, there is, and there's a pull request pending. If you'll open up in your web browser uh, to Jenkins CI slash Docker, we can actually look at how they read how they've phrased that. It's a good one for us to review with Kenneth. So that so that he sees what, how they phrased it, I feel quite comfortable with how they phrased it. So this is Vadek Falone writing. So he's the security officer. And what he says was the Jenkins project takes security seriously. When an image is published, the latest image and the latest available packages are used. We rely on the base image provider for the security of the system libraries. Voila. Yeah, yeah I agree. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so <laughs> I guess that's one way of accepting new <laughs> architectures and new images and so on we do what we can yeah in particular my so my images are actually the same base as all the other architectures yeah. i wasn't introducing a new base anyway so there wasn't anything new right exactly and so so the the same strengths and weaknesses of the existing debian occur also for ppc64 identical yeah that's cool and i think that your controller image where were they so sorry about that um so yeah the controller pr has not been merged yet no uh, and i and i also had an opportunity to test the two agents that were built and those are working i uh, ran some builds on them cool so is there anything we are uh, expecting from you on this one i guess not no, this is the uh, review I think we're waiting for. Okay, got it. So we're almost at the end of the process, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your contributions, Kenneth. Yeah. Anything to add uh, to that subject, Mark, Kenneth, um, Kevin? No, I think I think it's it's proceeding. It's actually proceeding a little faster than I expected it to. So that's great. Congrats, Kenneth. Thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. Next, uh, nothing groundbreaking for the agent images. We have a few new releases so for SSH agents with a new version of Debian, PPC64 LE, as we've seen, and use of you know, the latest uh, Java 11 version, so 11.0.18. Thank you, Mark, for that. And for the Docker agent release, we have a new version of Arc Linux, a new version of Bolsai, and of course, PP64 LE support back. And there's something by uh, Damien, but haven't looked at that, uh, which added a new feature, which is the expose the default image user to the environment variable user uh i guess that was linked to um uh, issue entered previously but i don't know anything more about that okay uh is there anything you would like to add a comment a subject a question remark anything i guess not so it looks like it's a wrap thanks a lot folks for attending this meeting uh, hopefully, the recording will be available from 24 to 48 hours, 
and see you two weeks from now. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.